Hi there, this is Corey from Lightspeed. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Matrix Attribute Sets feature in Lightspeed Retail. In order to create some new Matrix Attribute Sets, we need to come into the main inventory section of the system and then select Matrix Attribute Sets here under Inventory Maintenance. Matrix Attribute Sets are ways that you can create the labels for the attributes on your matrices within Lightspeed Retail. By default, as you probably know, we have single attribute matrices, color and size. We have a dual attribute matrix, color size, and we have the three attributes. However, as you can see, these names are fairly generic, or maybe you need a dual attribute matrix that's something other than color and size. Well, with this new feature, you can absolutely create those. So let's take a look at how we can. Well, first, we need to come up to the new matrix attribute set here and select that. Now we need to give this set a name. So in this case, let's go ahead and make it uh, doorknobs, let's say. And then from there, we can select the number of attributes we need. Let's say it's two. And then we just need to name those attributes. So let's call this material and we'll call it size. We can then give that set a save and now if we come back out, we can see that doorknobs is an option here uh, within these sets. So now if we come into inventory and we're going to create a new matrix, we're able to see that doorknobs is an option here within our matrix types. So if I save those changes, oops. So now if I save those changes, we can see that I have material and size clearly listed so that I can start to fill them in with those various values. Jumping back over to the matrix attribute set section, if you go into one of the matrices that you have created, you are able to archive these sets. And that is going to remove it. However, you can see that it cannot be archived when it is assigned to more uh, than one item. So in this case, I would need to go back to that doorknobs matrix and uh, set that back to something like a size color or whatever else is applicable in order to archive this particular set. It's also worth noting that you cannot edit the pre-existing sets. Those are locked in place and uh, will always be there. But of course, you don't need to use them. You can simply create the sets that you need and then utilize those for all of your products within Lightspeed. And that's it to matrix attribute sets. They're very simple, but also helps you out a lot when it comes to organizing some of these variants and the attributes that they have in them. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see some more videos like this, please check out our video library online.